So let us copy first and then we will discuss. If you have written then we can discuss this problem. So this says a mineral of CuFeS2 we have taken a 10 gram sample of a mineral CuFeS2. Now this mineral is boiled with dilute H2SO4 and the resulting solution so basically this is a process of dissolution so this is a solid mass and if I do reaction with H2SO4 so if you have CuSO4 plus CuFeS2 plus H2SO4 so even if you don't remember this reaction no problem you can do this problem so you will have CuSO4 plus FeSO4 plus H2S gas that will be formed that is basically released so in this reaction what you are doing is you are converting Cu to Cu2 plus now this is a salt it can dissolve into the solution Fe as Fe2 plus as a salt that will dissolve into the solution. Only thing is if you remember that in this case Cu is Cu2 plus, Fe is Fe2 plus and sulfur is minus 2. That's enough. Now next part says resulting solution is made up to 1 liter. And now we are doing two titration. In one titration 10 ml of solution in acidic medium is titrated with 2 ml of 0.01 MnO4 minus and another titration 25 ml of sample is titrated with 5 ml 0.01 S2O3 2 minus so this is S2O3 2 minus that is coming from Na2 plus so this is 0.01 m of Na2 S2O3 are you getting so this is 0.01 m of Na2 S2O3 so let us discuss this titration first. So let us call this the titration 1 and this is the titration 2. So if I discuss titration 1 first, so what we are doing is, so let us try to write reaction. So in this case, what will the reaction? MnO4 minus in acidic medium will goes to Mn2 plus. MnO4 minus will goes to Mn2 plus. Now you see, your solution will contain Cu2 plus and it will contain Fe2 plus. Now Cu2 plus can't be oxidized, Fe2 plus gets oxidized to Fe3 plus. So Fe2 plus gets oxidized to Fe3 plus, now things are easy. So if we have this side 4H2O, 8H plus, plus 5 electron you will have. Are you getting? Now this side you will have 1 electron. So this means if you multiply this equation by 5, so you will have 5 Fe2 plus. 
plus MnO4 minus plus HH plus. And there is no need to write the right side. Whatever you have, you can write basically 5 Fe3 plus. There is no need plus Mn2 plus plus 4H2. Now you can do calculation here. So what is the mole of MnO4 minus 2 into 0 0.01? So mole of MnO4 is 2 into 0 0.01 millimole. So you see 1 mole of reacts with 5 mole. So mole of Fe2 plus will be 5 into 2 into 0 0.01 millimole. Are you getting? So I can get the bet of Fe. So bet of Fe that is Fe bet will be this multiplied by atomic weight that is 56. So 5 into 2 into 0 0.01 and then I have to multiply by 10 to the power minus 3 also and 56. So this will come out to be this is 10 so this is 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 so this will 0 0.0056. So this is point and if I want to find percentage so this is 0 0.0056 gram. So what is the percentage of Fe? So percentage Fe we will have because in the question it says find out the percentage of Fe and percentage of copper. So 0 0.0056 sample was 10 gram initially and multiplied by 100. So what is the value you are getting? Aha, we have done one mistake. You see this is in 10 ml of solution. Initially solution was diluted, uh, solution was diluted to 1 liter. I have taken only 10 ml. So 10 ml solution contains this much millimole. So this is the bit of F in 10 millimole. Are you getting or not? So this is in 10 millimole. So if I want to find total, I have to multiply by 100 also. So this is the bit of F E in 10 ml, not 10 millimole. So this is 10 ml. And initially solution was diluted up to 1 liter. So I have to find total bit in 1 liter. So I have to multiply this by 100 because 10 into 100 will be 1000. So you see I have to multiply by 100 again because I have to take 1 liter because the 10 gram of Fe initial sample was 10 gram and this total sample is diluted up to 1 liter. So you will have so this result will come out to be 5.6 percent. Are you getting? Why I am multiplying by 100? This is because the solution was diluted up to 1 liter and only we have taken only a solution of 10 ml. Now let us discuss B part. Now titration 2 if we discuss. So what is happening? This is a quite important titration. Question says now 25 ml of solution is titrated with H2O3 2 minus Iodometrically, so what is the reaction titration of I, uh, H2O3 2 minus iodometric titration? If you remember, this is I2 plus 2Na2H2O3, and this will give you 2NaI plus Na2H4O6. So, this is the titration you have, iodometric titration, but in this case you don't have any I2 so from where this I2 is coming so you see you have CO2 plus and if I treat this CO2 plus with I minus what will happen you will get CO plus and plus I2 so I minus gets oxidized to I2 and CO2 plus in this case gets reduced to CO plus so only CO plus gets reduced if it does not get reduced in the presence of I minus. So two electrons, so you will have this side two, this side one, and if you add, so you will have CO2 plus plus two I minus, and this will give you I2 plus CO plus. Are you getting or not? Because I have to multiply this equation by two, so I will have two here also. Now you see, so what we are doing in idiometric titration, this solution is fast treated with I minus and iodine liberated is titrated with this reaction. So simple. So first this solution is treated with excess I minus this reaction and the iodine liberated in this case is titrated with Na2H2O3 that is I2 plus again I am writing the same reaction. This will give you 2 Na2H2O3 
I plus Na2S4O6. And our question says, we know the millimole of Na2S2O3 that is 25 ml 0 0.01 millimole, molarity is 0 0.01 and solution is taken as 5 ml. So you know 5 into 0 0.01 that is 0 0.05 millimole. And now this is in 25 milliliter. Are you getting? Solution is diluted up to. So you see mole of I2 is 0 0.05 divided by 2 millimole. So 0 0.05 divided by 2 millimole. Mole of I2, this is mole of I2 in 25 ml. So in in 1 liter solution I will have so mole of I2 in 1 liter so this will be 0 0.05 divided by 2 this is in 5 ml or uh, 25 ml so I have to divide by 25 and then I have to multiply it by 1000 now see, if I know the mole of I2, using this reaction I can find mole of Cu2 plus. So mole of I2 is same as mole of Cu2 plus. Check this one. So if you see here, so mole of I2 is this. So what is the mole of Cu2 plus? Uh, basically there is a mistake. If I multiply this equation by 2, so I will have 2 Cu2 plus. So what we have done, so we have multiplied this equation by 2 and this equation by 1 and then we have added. So if you multiply by 2, so you will have 2 Cu plus plus 2 Ui minus. So you see mole of I2, if I know then I have to multiply by 2, then I will get the mole of Cu2 plus. So mole of Cu2 plus, that will be 2 times mole of I2 and I2 is 0 0.05 divided by 2 into 1 by 25 into 1000. So we will have, this will come out to be, so this is 0 0.05 into 25 into 4 into 40. So we will have 4, 40 to 0.05, let me check, 40 into 0.05. So this is 2, so 2 millimole. This is in millimole, everywhere I have written millimole. So what is the weight of Fe2 plus, uh, sorry Cu2 plus? That is 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 and that is the molecular atomic weight of copper is 63.5. So I will have, let me check this value. So this comes out to be, so 2 into 63.5, gram. So 0.127 gram. So what is the percentage? So percentage of copper Cu2 plus will be 0.127 divided by, because initial mixture was 10 gram into 100. So this will be 1.27 percent. So percentage is quite a small. Now see in this problem only we have done two titration. First titration is easy. The second titration we have that is important because the question says compound is treated hydrometrically. So if I treat it hydrometrically this means I have to use Na2S2O3 plus I2 reaction. So this means I have to liberate I2. This suggests me that the solution must be reacted with I minus and I2 liberated is titrated with Na2O3. That is the enough important point we have here. We will discuss the next problem. This is a quite good problem.